What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on the Timber mod, and what this mod does is it allows you to chop down trees with one chop, like it would be in real life. Once you chop down a tree, the entire tree falls down. Um, now, something I would like to see as an improvement to this mod, if it would be even possible, is having the entire tree fall down as a whole. And then once it hits the ground, it breaks up into separate blocks or some sort of animation like that just to make it a little bit more realistic than it already is. That's just my input on it. So let me go ahead and hop my world here. Um, I've noticed my Minecraft does something a little weird right there, kind of glitches out and then, then puts me in my world. Um, so this mod does work on all trees. So it works on the um, oak, the spruce, the birchwood and the jungle trees so let's go ahead and cut down this oak tree and you can see once it chops it down all the wood falls out and then the only thing that's remaining is the leaves and eventually those will just deteriorate as you can see right now and start dropping saplings if you can hear footsteps running around upstairs I apologize my little brother so there we go chops down the um, the birch tree just the same now you can see for the birch tree there will be getting um, there will be wood that gets stuck up at the top sometimes now we'll go ahead and cut down the uh, birch tree or no that was the spruce tree this is the birch tree and then the jungle tree this will give you a crap load of wood and again this one will have a lot that um, gets stuck up in the leaves but you can see it just rain down wood this one gave us a little over a stack of 64. So we have a stack, actually have a stack and a half. So we have a stack of 64 and a stack of 32 of the jungle wood. So that is the timber mod. Very simple mod. Makes it a lot easier to collect trees. And there's some more jungle wood. So yeah, that is the timber mod. So I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All of these archiving programs will pretty much pretty much work the same way, so you can use really whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download ModLoader and the Timber mod itself. So to get ModLoader and the Timber mod, I'll go ahead and give the link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the Timber mod, if you go ahead and come to TechRush's Mods, and scroll down. This is a table of contents, but the Timber mod is the only mod that is updated to Minecraft 1.3.1. But just keep scrolling down a little bit, and you'll have the Timber mod right here. I'll give you a little bit of information on um, how to use the mod. And you can see right here, it says you can toggle this effect to safely remove logs by holding down C while chopping logs with your axe. So if you hold down C, it will allow you to remove one log at a time, just in case you're on a cliff or something like that, and you don't want to have all the logs um, be lost. But we want to come down to the download and just click on the download for Timber 1.3.1. This will take us over to an ad fly, and it'll say, please wait five seconds, up in the top right-hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad, and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download the Timber mod. Now for mod letter, if we go ahead and come over to Resigami's mods and scroll down until you see mod letter 1.3.1, you can either download from AdFly or direct. Whatever you prefer to do, keep in mind downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download all the files that you're going to need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your dot Minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now we will be coming back to the bin later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up mod loader and highlight all these class files, then drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close mod loader. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called metainf. If you do not have this folder, that is okay. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, and then hit yes. And that would delete metainf. 
You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin. So go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder. So if you do not have one, you will need to create one. And to do that, you want to simply right click within the .minecraft folder. Go down to new and select folder. This will create a new folder and you want to name this folder mods. So just M-O-D-S. There you go. There's your mods folder. So once you have your mods folder, go ahead and open that up. And simply drag the timber zip file into the mods folder. And you go to close that down, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So it's a fairly simple installation. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.